Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and the topic for today is the importance of getting down into the trenches and giving yourself certain experiences as an artist because of what you'll learn from it. And you'll see what I mean when I show you this clip from a very special interview I had with a guy by the name of Johnny Two Phones. He's an artist, you'll get more about him later, but he's really started to build his true own cult fan base. For now though, let's just show the clip. When did this happen? Did you have it when you dropped the O or when did the habit getting a manager coming to the play? Right now, like I have a manager, but I'm still the one who's in control of everything. Nobody's really like, I wouldn't say a manager more, like I'd say a manager, it's just rough not to call him a manager, but it's like, we're kind of at the same, we're working the same, we're working the same route right now. Like nobody's really like, oh, I'm Johnny Two Phones manager. It's like, no, we work with Johnny. So my advice on that is always be in charge. Always, always have control over everything. Like the show we did, I headlined um, at the Upstate Concert Hall this summer and the piece of paper I got from them says Johnny's Two Phones sold 703 tickets. Um, and it, they wrote like reviews just so I could show it to other venues when I go to them. I'm like, hey, like this guy's about his business. He handles everything. Like from top to bottom, I was in charge of that show. Radio promotion, flyers, all that. Like, and like it was the most annoying thing I ever, did, have, I ever had to deal with. Like I had to deal with all the artists. I had to deal with all the BS, all the bullshit. But at the end of the day, I learned how to run a show. I learned how to book my own show. I learned how much I need to be paid. I learned how much I'm worth. And nobody, like, I got taken advantage and I didn't know. But now I know from that mistake, like, okay, well, next time I'm not doing that. We're doing it this way because I know the way now. Now, why did you say you got taken advantage of? What do you mean? What happened? um, We sold 700. I sold 703 tickets, like, all of us together. But for the most part, it was like, uh, I was a headliner show. It was like, you know, it's my show. So it was me and Swap the Down show. I'm sorry. But we sold 703 tickets and only got, I got paid about, 1.2k so it was like we didn't get completely taken advantage but 700 tickets at 20 dollars a little bit more than 1.3k so it's like the money situation so now when i go to a venue i'm renting it out i'm not going through promoters and no we're we're going through us got it so you went with some promoters the promoters bought the venue and then they brought you in and let you do all the marketing yeah, yeah. basically yeah okay yeah very familiar with that <laughs> it happens to a lot of artists. It's not the artist's fault because in our area they're so scared to book rap that they like took advantage of us because they know they knew that there was no other way to do it. So, but now I have that piece of paper that says I sold three, 703 tickets. I performed at the Palace Theater in front of 3,000 people. Like I can, I kind of got a little leeway. In my, you know what I mean? I got some people behind me that are like, no, he's fine. His fans are good. They're not fighting. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're trying to book a rap show, you can't bring, like, everybody wants to be gangster, but you can't bring that. Like, they're not, no venue really wants that. Like, 6 9 isn't booking the same places as, like, a Khalid, like, a Khaled. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not how that works. 6 9 is losing out on so much money because all that BS you bring. That right there is something I hope you guys hold on to because it's really in line with one of my personal philosophies. A lot of times, I believe in just going deep into the trenches so I can get a feel for things myself. And once I'm in there, I start to learn certain things. I can see how certain things connect in a way you can't see when you're up there at the top just looking down on things. You have to get into the trenches and when you're there, you'll be able to move on and elevate into different positions but still have an instinct and a feel for the things on the ground. And it'll be a more accurate feel versus just thinking you know certain things and hoping that they work out, you'll be able to move far more confidently because you'll remember what it was like when you were there. So try putting on your own show, try hitting up a booking manager, try managing your own marketing campaigns. And that way you not only get a feel for how certain things feel and some of the reactions crowds or audiences might have to certain things you do, you also get an idea of how long certain things take because when you hire certain people, they try to BS you and say it's gonna take two months when it really should take two days. You'll have people try to charge you way more than they really probably should be charging you to do it, unless you're just doing it for the convenience or they're super great at what they do. 
These are all very important things that you can get when you pull up your sleeves and get down into those trenches. But I would love to know you guys thoughts on it. Tell me about some of your personal experiences and how being in the trenches has taught you things that you didn't even know that you would learn when you first started to do it. Other than that though, of course, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.